Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how to create this liquid photo effect in Adobe Photoshop. Really cool idea that you could apply to many forms of imagery um, and a very simple process for you to follow. What I'm going to do is just select that top layer there and press backspace to remove. If I turn on that to that bottom layer there, as you can see, I have the original image. Now, with my rectangular marquee tool, I'm just going to come through and make a selection probably around there. And then with that selection still live, I'm going to press Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows to free transform. And that means now I can just move this across here like so. I'm going to press Shift as well just to keep it nice and straight in line for me. And if I press Enter, and I need to deselect Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. Now, yet again, using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm just going to come through and make a selection like so. And I'm going to use the shortcut Command J. And what will that happen now on Mac and Control J on Windows? And what will happen now is whatever is inside that selection will duplicate onto its new layer. And now if I press Command T or Control T on Windows again, and I'm going to stretch this out and press Shift as well to keep that nice and warped there like so. Wonderful. And now what I'm going to do with that layer still highlighted is now come to Filter, Liquify. Using my forward warp tool up here, I'm just going to come through and make some lines going up and down. Make sure the size of the brush is around 200 here, or you can change it to suit the sizes that you need. Now if I press OK, wonderful. And now what I want to do is add a bit of a... Um, sort of texture here. I'm just going to it's a little tiny bit bigger because it's a little bit warped to the top there. Um, yeah, I want to add some sort of texture to this uh, imagery here. So I'm just going to select the both of them and duplicate by pressing shift on the bottom layer. And now I'm going to merge these two together using the shortcut command E on Mac or control E on Windows. And then just simply go to filter, noise, add noise. Maybe increase it a little bit there. As you can see, you can dictate how much noise you want and let's press OK and there you have it guys if you're interested in finding out more about the school the courses that we offer please take, take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk thank you very much guys take care and I'll see you next time